fitting that on day one of the vlog, September 7th. Oh no. Raj, Raj, are you alive? Raj, are you alive? Oh, thank God. Raj. Uh all right, thanks, just wanna make sure you are okay. Hey y'all, my name is Casey Likes, and you probably don't know me, uh, but that's uh, okay. My mom knows me, but the point is, is that I am here today, and I am Marty McFly on Broadway, so you probably know who that is. Um, so we're doing Back to the Future the Musical on Broadway, and I'm the first person to do it. Um, let the record state that it. Uh, I started filming us on September 7th, 2023, and um, we have a lot of really amazing things to show you. This is, uh, uh, we're bringing this vlog back. Let history state that this blog, vlog was gone for a while, and now it's back. And I'm doing it. Um, I need a shave. Okay, so now that, that uh, I'm in the middle of that, um, I thought it was important to establish our characters. You know, introduce you to the cast, the cast of people you're going to be living with for the next eight weeks of this vlog. Um, so, uh, just so you know, where we did, they just did a put in today. If you don't know what a put in, put in is, it actually is when they put in understudies for the roles, the, the principal roles. So they did that today, so they might be a little bit tired. Also, they're a wacky bunch, um, so you'll get to know them. You'll, you'll see what I mean. But um, we also have an understudy going on tonight. It, you're, move, you're, you're hopping onto a moving train here, guys, so I need you to catch up um, fast. But uh, anyways, l let me, actually, let me just introduce you all to them. Okay, first person, hey, Jelani Remy. Hey, everybody, it's me, Jelani Remy. Cut. <laughs> Mark, it's you just say your name. You just say your name and where you're from. Mark, sorry, say it right. I pick people up. Okay, okay, <laughs> yeah, he picks people up. Oh, that was really cute. Hi, um, I'm Nick Drake. I love Nick Drake. <laughs> Hi, I'm Daryl Tofa. Hi, Casey. It's Nate Hackman. You remember me? Yeah, it's great. It's great to see you. You're really nice, oh, man. Oh, thanks. Hi. It's great to see you. you know, there is actually a myth that the guys who are playing bullies are actually like the nicest people in the building. Oh, no, that's a complete yeah. myth. No, we're all real jerks. Hey, it's great to see you. You know your skin looks great today. Thanks, Nate. Okay, um, Josh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joshua Kenneth Allen Johnson. All four names must be used. Oh, Period. excuse Period. me. It's me, Merritt. And another thing. Right. Merit. Hi, I'm JJ Neiman. That's at JJ Neiman on TikTok and Instagram. Thank you. JJ made me do that camera move. <laughs> so it's kind of really awkward. We have a friend, Emma Pittman. She's in the ensemble, but she was on this thing called the Search for Roxy. It was an internet competition looking for Roxy Hart for Chicago. It's really awkward, but she makes all of the men in the um, entire company line up every night um, to greet her as Roxy. Um, she refuses to go by Emma in this building. So uh, let's see how this goes. Hi, Roxy. Hi, Nate. Hi, Roxy. Hi, Hi Joshua. It's Friday. Hi, Roxy. Oh, Daryl. September. Oh, hey, Roxy. Hi, Mark. Baking. Hey, Roxy. Doctor debut. All right. So uh, while we do these, while, while we do these lunges, I think we have now um, introduced ourselves to everyone um, that are non-binary. Um, slash male. We gotta get to some of the women and... Oh wait, actually there are a few men we have not talked to yet. Hugh oh, calls. Oh, hey man. How you hey, doing dude. man? Hey, what are you watching? Oh, Royal Wedding. The, the Royal Wedding? Yeah, I'm obviously not from here so I like to check in. Wow, how many times do you watch that? Once a day. Once a day, okay. Wow, that's... It's incredible. So how are you like in America, man? This is great. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's obviously different. So I'm on my apps on Duolingo trying to pick up some new phrases. Oh, really? Can you show me? Yes. Yeah. Translate this phrase. Please may I have a cup of tea? Yeah. Can I get a Mountain Dew code red? Yeah. Hey, what's up? I'm Brennan Chan, part of the ensemble and Back to the Future. <laughs> He's a b-boy. Oh shoot. He's a b-boy. Hey, oh, hey. Jelani, your your what? eyes look so different. 
I'm Will from work. Are you okay? <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, we haven't met Will from work. Hold on one second. DJ, so I know you all have been waiting for this one. Um, we have a guy in this ensemble, you've been tweeting me about him. You are all in love with him. He's like, you know, maybe some would say the hottest person in the ensemble. Whatever, whatever. That's what people have been saying. We, You know him from Star Kid and all this stuff. His name's Will Branner. Um, but I'm wondering what he's doing. It's probably something really hot. Uh, hey Will, are you around here somewhere? Oh yeah, what's up? I was just freshening up. Again? Yeah, again, you know, it takes a oh lot to look this God. good. Will, what are you... This is, this is my warm-ups. What's wrong? Person? Hi, <laughs> I'm Kevin. Okay. I'm in the ensemble. Yes, sir! Hannah, Hi. you just were Jennifer yesterday. No. How was it? It was insane. Um, a lot was happening. So yesterday we did our put-in, um, and I was like, fierce, I'll just get a chance to do a little rehearsal moment. So put-in is literally like when all the understudies get to play their characters, but without the audience. Also, Jennifer is my girlfriend. Okay, continue, sorry. Right, so low stakes, I was like, fierce. A little rehearsal, go to this number, blah, blah, blah. Then after the put-in, our stage manager knocks on the door and is like, so you're gonna do that again? And I was like, what do you mean by that? And she was like, for an audience, for Broadway, um, you're gonna yeah. sing a solo on Broadway. So that's crazy! And then I got home and cried last night. And she killed it. <gasps> cried in a good way. In a good way, in like a very grateful, like, wow, I, um, five months ago was in college and now I'm singing a solo on Broadway. Let's go! We all backstage had full body chills. Like she not only killed it, but like carried, honey. She carried, darling. And JJ also understudies a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, Marty Marty and, Marty McFly. and George. And George. And yeah. So great. Yeah. I saw a bit of the put in, and they killed. Okay. Thanks. Hey, swings. How are you? Guys? How are you doing, guys? Hey, swings. So do we want to introduce ourselves? I start giving out. Do you need me to go on? I, already I need to give notes right, right now. No, 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 no. no, no. My wig is on. No, wait, wait. no one's out. No one's out. Is it me or Gabby? No, it's a matter of time. No, but there are ten. Precision to live. No, guys. No, no one's out. Okay, I'm gonna go, guys. No one's out. No, no, we're good. Triple check. No, no, no. I'm good. No, I'm actually good. Thanks, guys. Okay, we have uh, Mika Sakata in here. Mika. I don't know if she's here. Mika? Uh, oh! Uh, Mika? Did I miss the show? Are we at places? No, 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 we're all good, we're all good. We're all good. Oh, just, just sit down, sit down, oh, sit down, sit down. Uh, it's all good. Uh, oh, you did not sorry. miss your call again. It's I was okay. Just, I was just meditating. So, we play Marty and Jennifer. We are yes. um, love interests mm -hmm. in this show. Other than being in love with me every day, what is the hardest part? Aw, why do you have to say it like that? That's make that's easy. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Is mm. that we met and we instantly became friends. It felt very natural. Chill, chill, chill. Oh, come on. Say it again. Wait, what? You said I'm cool. Yeah, you I I'm think cool? you're cool. Would I be cool in Miami? You're from. She's oh. from Miami. Would I be cool in Miami? I mean, in this shirt. Show me the fit. Good check. Good check. Uh, you, I don't would, you would blend in Miami very well right now. Really? Yeah, they would just call you like a little, a little blanquito. blanquito. A little gringo blanquito. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they already call me that in Arizona. But no, hardest part of doing this show would be probably bopping between being Jennifer and also being in the ensemble because there's definitely a lot of responsibility on both sides and in two different ways. Um, so just making sure that I am vocally prepared to be singing while dancing and off stage and also solo wise is definitely like a and, challenge. And she eats it up Aww, every time. Thanks. Every time. Thanks. Thanks, You're Mika. Welcome. Thanks, Casey. Hey, so if uh, you guys didn't know, we actually have two TikTokers in our cast, uh, JJ Neiman and Amber Ardolino. They're super well known on TikTok. They are doing a great job. Um, and let's check in with Amber, actually. Amber? Who, do you see how she's doing her mouth? Yes, it's who performed at Courtney's wedding. Andrea Bocelli, Mika, um, six times now. Watch how she's moving her mouth. Um, you stole my... Okay, um, that was so awkward. Um, they do a lot of lip sync TikToks. Um, do you know how to talk to HR? Three more names, three more names. All right, I think that's it. Hey, everybody, oh, oh, 
Whoa! Uh, hey, Whoa! You? <laughs> Guys, that's a lot of snacks. Hi. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Looks like you were eating all that. Were you guys? Oh, no, no, we're just, just like tasting. Yeah, just like a little like, snack. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah. Becca, yeah. hey. Hi. Uh, who do you play on the show? Um, I'm Babs. You're Babs? <laughs> what are you? What are you holding there? You have three different. Tori, yeah, um, who do you play Hi. in the show? Oh, um, uh, I play Betty and, and others. Oh, lovely. And Jonalyn? <laughs> I play the clock tower woman. That's great. You know, what's a little confusing is that half your bag is gone. Can I have some of those tomorrow? No. They, okay, all right. Oh, my God. Oh, they're throwing cheese balls at me. Last person to introduce, Lena Hunt. All right. Hey, Liana. Oh, how you darling, doing? darling. Shoes off, please, dear. Shoes, shoes okay, off, well, okay. No converse on the carpet, you understand. Uh, darling, give me a moment. I'm just checking my Uber Eats. I just ordered a thousand dollars worth of sushi and a and a massage to the room. Are you gonna eat all that? Eventually, maybe. Who cares? Okay, sh sushi goes bad. Is that a martini? Excuse me. Don't get too close. I haven't sprayed yet. Okay. Uh, just wow. a little, a little something to start the show. Oh. What can I do for you? Oh, I was just you know wondering you know. Uh, asking normal questions, uh, you know, like, what's your favorite part of the show? Oh, I really love when Lorraine comes back at the end and has her fat diamond ring and she's just oozing with success. <laughs> you understand? Yep, yes, yeah, man, I understand. I'm gonna put my shoes on. Uh, I'll see you out there. Hey, I'll see you out there. Uh, t please do close the door quietly. I don't like a loud sound to disturb the space. Oh, yeah. Yes, of course. See you out there, dear. Yes, thank you, Mrs. Hunt. Uh, appreciate uh, Miss Hunt. Miss. Don't ever call me Mrs. again. Okay, will not. <laughs> well, okay, bye. Uh, just looking forward to a nice, relaxing Honestly, rest. I don't know. Wait. What do you want me to look like? Guys. Oh, what? It is. Took over my room. <laughs> Wait a second. Is this Snob? This is Sunday night on Broadway? What is it called? Oh, God. What is it called? You don't, you don't consent to being filmed? <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> Daryl's so hot. <laughs> oh, shit! Hey. Sam Garber, please explain to me what we're doing here. What is this? What is this event we're doing? So, Snob started as Saturday Night on Broadway, where people would celebrate two show days by drinking after the show and having a little party. But today it's Sunday, so we're doing Snob because we have only one show today. Yes. I think it's healthier and safer for the well-being of our cast. So it's in my room. This is my dressing room. I'll do a little dressing room tour soon. We got everyone in here. So fun. Thanks. Also, just to get me in the mood of the show, every time I look out my window, we have um, the uh, the exorcist. <laughs> um, so yeah, that gets me in the Back to the Future spirit. All right, it's an off day. It's Monday. And uh, we are at the Jets game. Jets! Jets! I'm wearing the wrong colors, unfortunately, because Doc Brown University didn't realize that the Jets were going to be green. Um, but I'm going to buy some stuff. And uh, yeah, who else do we have here? We got uh, some other Back to the Future folks, and we have some more coming. All right, they gave us hats. Hats. Thank Thanks. You. They're escorting us to our box. <laughs> Oh! Wait a minute. This is this is because Aaron Rodgers saw Back to the Future. That's right. What? They must really like that car. Listen, man. That's Casey Neistat. We're uh we're in the vlogging territory. If you guys didn't know. We're this is vlogging world. Long story short, there's this uh, TV program called uh, Hard Knocks that uh, the Jets are part of, and they saw Back to the Future, and they invited us, and that's why we're here. And uh, we're having fun. Are you having hot fun, you? I'm having a great time. Okay. Nerding out. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That's the Timberlake. All right. Yeah, one at a time. Jesus. We just met Justin Timberlake. Uh, I thank him for inspiring me. And and uh, this is kind of wild. This is just like I like Broadway got us here. Come on, Tim Boyle, our boy, came up to us. 
dab this up. That was pretty cool. Uh, also, I do have to mention Justin Timberlake did hear that our show was phenomenal. Uh, he heard it. All right, folks, that is it for episode one of the McFly Files. Thank you so much for joining me. This is a dream come true. I, I, I literally asked um, Paul Wontorek and um, all of Broadway.com to let me do this vlog three years ago, 2019, when I was doing a show called Almost Famous. And um, the fact that I'm doing it now is just an absolute dream. And I can't wait to continue to show you more behind the scenes here. So uh, I got to go, but I will see you guys next week. And... Um, until then, I'm out of time, y'all. Bye, y'all.